All right, bad things happen, and sometimes you do something and you don't realize it. And part of that is sometimes you want to name the song something different. And so you work on it, you edit it, and then all of a sudden you decide, oh, I'm going to change the name of the folder for where the song is located. That's going to cause some problems with Pro Tools. It's going to have trouble finding the audio files because you're breaking the chain of where it originally thought the root folder was. So I've purposely renamed one of my songs that I'm working on. And you can see it's looking for all the files. And then you're going to get this window. Now you can try to automatically find and relink and it may work. Now if that works, awesome. You're good to go. If it doesn't, let me show you how you can manually find and relink your audio files. So go ahead and click that. It's going to bring up the relink folder. Should be a list of all your hard drives. So unselect all of them by holding down option and clicking on one. Choose the drive that has the files on it that you know it has on it. We're going to navigate down here to Gabe's folder. And inside here, we're going to find the track that I renamed. And then we have some audio files here. So I'm going to have it check the audio files folder. And then also, this stems folder is where we put all his original stems. And now you should be able to go down here and click on one of the tracks and click Find All Candidates. Found one. Relink. Click on the next one. Find All Candidates. Found it. Relink. Just go through each track here. Click Find All Candidates, and when it finds it, click Relink. Do this for each of your tracks, and then it should import them back into the session exactly where they were. One main important thing is to make sure that you always name your tracks when you're recording or when you're making them or when you're consolidating them. This will save you hours of grief and frustration. If you leave your tracks just labeled Audio 1, Audio 2 as they default in Pro Tools, you're just going to have a sea of insanity. I don't recommend that. <laughs> That's the last thing I recommend. So make sure you name your tracks. And uh, of course, you're going to have multiple snares, multiple kicks and drums and vocals. But it's always good within those folders each time just to label them for your own sanity and just for a little bit of ease of use when you're going to need to go in and do something like this and find and relink your files. So when you've got the files committed, all right, you go up here in the top of the window and click Commit Links. It's going to ask you, do you sure? Yeah. There you go. You see your files populate back in. Let's get these last couple here. Commit that. Commit that. And now we should be good. Okay, now that we have everything back in and all the files are here, let's check one more thing. Let's go to Setup and let's go to Disk Allocation. Now here you should be able to see the path directly into the new folder that you've set up, whatever you renamed it. So this one used to have a different name and now the song is called Ritualistic. And we can see right here that everything is going in right where we want it. If you click these double arrows right here, you can select the folder from the double arrow here. You just want to make sure that you're putting everything in this audio files folder. It's very important. This is where Pro Tools looks for the audio files within your session. So if you have files outside of this folder and you transfer the session or you move it to a new hard drive or you do anything with it, they've got to be in here. Otherwise, the files aren't going to go with it. And you're going to have missing files and you're going to have fragmented files that aren't in the session. So if you send it off to a buddy to mix or you take it with you on a hard drive from your, your main hard drive, make sure you transfer everything. So it's really important when you import files that you copy them. Don't just add, copy them. Unless you make another folder, like I have with the stems, and I just added these in. But this is inside this folder, this main root folder. So if I do anything with this song, 
this folder right here is going with it. Hope this helps out, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. This is David at Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. Thanks for watching.